Alrighty, so we got everything hooked up, fired up, and everything flowing somewhat. Of course, I kind of figured there was going to be some hitches to have to come overcome. With the flow rate, flow rate's not as fast as I want it to be, but that's not because I ain't got enough pump. I got more than enough pump. There's a couple of things. I only left a inch on my bell siphon. All right, only left an inch cut out on my bell siphon, and it's not breaking suction as good as I want it to. So I'm gonna have to come up, probably cut another inch on the bell siphons on both of them. The, the one inch pipe is is fine for the for the water distribution. The problem that I'm having is whenever more than one oh here's the radio flow filter and so the lid to that is right here so what happens is is that that pipe fits over that other pipe right and the solids will come up from the bottom if you'll see down there at the bottom there's there's cut cutouts on the bottom not big enough for to suck fish up but big enough to where the solids will be sucked up from the bottom come up through the standpipe comes down gets pushed up into the radial flow filter which is that and the shroud that goes over the standpipe in the radial flow filter breaks the momentum of the solids enough to where the solids will settle back down to the bottom and then nutrient rich water will go down the water distribution pipe the problem that i'm having is as soon as i as soon as i have one one barrel drain grab siphon and drain it drains into what i've had set up as my uh uh, uh oh snap what is it it is the uh <laughs> I can't uh, the sump tank into the pump it uh yeah and I got a sock on there man to catch all the plastics and stuff so I mean I've got the water in here I got at all that there I got one little bitty drip from a pinhole in the bottom of my fish tank which one fish floater will probably seal that up pretty good but my sump tank ain't big enough. As you can see, it's starting to suck down to the pump now. And I'm nowhere near close to catching a siphon on any one of my tanks. My grow bed, excuse me. I need to learn the terminology. So anyway, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to either get another sump tank bigger or add another sump tank. So that way I can put an EQ beam, an equalizer beam in between the two of them. And that way it'll it'll fill up and everything will flow. The other issue that I'm having is this standpipe in my fish tank is inch and a half. And I was thinking that inch and a half would be big enough, uh, but it's not. As you can see by the flow of the water going to the other nozzles that uh or outlets that I got enough I got enough water distribution pipe size but I don't have enough water pushing here. So I'm gonna to have to up that size from inch and a half to two inch. And that goes from down at the bottom, through here, down, and again, up into the radial flow filter. And another situation I'm saying too, is my standpipe here is a little bit too tall, right? I need to cut it down probably two inches. Once I put that two inch pipe in there, then I'll be able to increase the pump capacity. I had to unplug the pump, it's sucking. I'll increase the pump capacity, which will in turn put more flow into it, in turn, which will give me more pressure going into the tank to where I ain't got to wear, worry about adding uh, air salts or air, air stones and all that down in the bottom for the fish once I get the fish in there. Anyway. That is an update. Thank you, guys.